on White Christmas when Danny Kaye replaced Donald O'Connor at the last minute. This number had already been staged. Ernie Flatt was the assistant choreographer, and it was his job to turn Danny Kaye into Donald O'Connor in a very short time. The result is pretty amazing. Danny is great. Johnny Brasha took over another numbers. That's Luigi in the middle, right between Vera Ellen and Johnny Brasha. George Sakaris is on Vera Ellen's right. And that's my dear friend George Reedy. In this number, this close-up of George Karras began his career. Artists gasped when he turned around. He was so beautiful. Handsome as he was, a similar close-up of my roommate Jimmy Brooks in the same number didn't have quite the same effect. George was to go on to win an Oscar for West Side Story. In the mid-1950s, we were all on Anything Goes at Paramount. George Reeder was in Korea. I was working for Nick Castle. Mark Wilder and Buzz Miller were working for Roland Petit. And Ernie Flatt was staging a number for Mitzi Gaynor. Ernie had just finished staging a number for Donald O'Connor at 20th Century Fox, but he didn't get screen credit. This was his very first screen credit. That's Mark Wilder and Buzz Miller with Jarmette. Being an assistant to Carol Haney and Ernie Flatt is a great credit. But replacing Buzz Miller on Broadway in Funny Girl, wow. I did that. Buzz is on the right, Mark is on the left. Jimmy Brooks was my first Hollywood roommate, and Buddy Bryan was my last. The whole time Mark and I were going together, his roommate was Buddy Bryan. When Mark and I broke up, Buddy Bryan and I got in a show called Joyride, and he licked my wounds all the way to Chicago. I'm right between Mitzi and Donald. On There's No Business Like Show Business, Ernie Flatt assisted Bob Alton. It was the biggest finale ever filmed. Every dancer in Hollywood was on it. I'm there. I I'm in blue. You can't miss me. Soon after... George, Christy, Buddy, and I all got in a show called Joyride. It was headed for New York. Ernie was already there. When Joyride folded in Chicago, Buddy Bryan decided to return to Hollywood. George and Christy and I kept going for New York. New York, here we come. A few years after returning to Hollywood, Buddy Bryan was Prince Charming again. 
to Audrey Hepburn's My Fair Lady. <laughs> 